Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and today we will be looking into how we can actually split our debtors control accounts. So why do we normally need to do this? It is actually because maybe we are a group of companies and we have a large number of intercompany transactions. That means company A bills company B, company B bills company C. All right, and we also want to separate what is owing by intercompanies and what is separated by owing by who are your actually trade debtors, who are your actual trade debtors. So to do this, all we just need to do is come here to account maintenance or you can come on here to GL and come here to account maintenance as well. All right. So let's say we click here account maintenance. So we will need to come to your current assets. So let's say current assets. So we see there's currently a trade debtor that is in bluish color. So let's say we want to create a new uh, intercompany debtors. So what happens is on the left hand side, you see a debtor control button. So let's click on it. So here we can actually come up and we put 301000. Then we can put this as inter, sorry, intercompany debtors. Okay. So then we just press save. All right. So now we have three debtors and we have intercompany debtors. So once we actually create this like this, now when we want to create a new customer or a new debtor, all right, when we press new, users can then now select a different control account. So let's say example, company B is a intercompany. So we press intercompany debtors and we can put this is company B, all right? So then this is your intercompany debtors. And then when you do billings, the amount of will go to the necessary or the actual chart of accounts, all right? Okay, so this is actually how easy it is to create a new debtor control account in AutoCount. Do like and subscribe to be notified when we release new guides. Thanks!